You know, I've written a bunch of books and hundreds of published magazine articles. Throughout my life, I've been a literature junkie. My mother graduated from MSU with a degree in English literature and read Shakespeare to me to get to sleep when I was a little kid. I get high from reading Hemingway the way other people get off on watching the Super Bowl or seeing the space shuttle take off. What does that have to do with Zuccotti Park and all this? Well, today, a piece of truly brilliant literature put to music and pictures came into our world that I just have to share with you. It combines my personal two passions, literature and grassroots political action, and comes from people you and I may never know or meet. It's a message to the people of New York City, and frankly, I'd argue to people of every city where an Occupy mission is being undertaken, from the group that goes by the name Anonymous. This is a message from Anonymous to the people of New York City, Wall Street, and members of the protest. We are crowding your streets. We are filling its veins. This might be painful but you will not open your eyes so we have been forced to dilate them. This is your protest, welcome your new neighbors, for they choose to sleep on the streets for you, they choose to open their mouths when you are too exhausted, they are your brothers. They are here for your benefit. They are young, they are the children of the internet. They are Generation Zero, they are taking their future back into their hands, they are reviving the country you have long left to rot and wither. Never forget this, treat them with kindness. Nod your heads in respect to them, give them water, shake their hands. The smallest gratitude will incite them. Wall Street, four years ago you saw that the country was brittle, you saw that it was ripe for the taking and so you did. You shattered the country and you collected the fragmented pieces to line your pockets. We stand here, united and strong, four years later. We stand before your butcher block, before your slaughtering house. Did you think that the people would not come to know what you have done? You sit before your trading screens, before your analysis. You are the players of the game, and you play very well, you rig the game even better, you care very little for the lives of average Americans, mere pawns. But you have strongly misread the world. Your complete lack of compassion for your fellow man has left you with a grave error. The game is over Wall Street. You forget that a poor man will slit your belly to eat what you have already eaten. Can you hear us Wall Street? Can you hear our racket Goldman Sachs? Can you hear the defiant beating of our drums? Keep trying to belittle us pundits, you lapdogs of the elite, keep trying to sum up this movement in a sound bite. This is a cultural crisis, and you are simply too stupid to understand it. We cannot be frightened by all the king's men for we are the court jesters. We will consume everything you throw at us and we will grow from it. This is our Arab Spring, this is our time. Protesters, savor the smell of tear gas. Savor the feeling of pepper spray, rejoice to your bruises and your tears. You are our generation's counterculture, you are our martyrs. Clench your fists and grind your teeth, do not be moved and you will have fire breathed into you. Smile at the police, ignore the pundits, the worse it gets, the stronger you become. The more hopeless your movement looks, the closer you are to success. You will be written into history, you will be backed up. We will not let your cries go either, we will not allow your fire to be smothered. We are anonymous, we are legion, we do not forget and we do not forgive. Expect us. This is truly a time of social, political and economic revolution. The forward march of history. Like water running down a mountainside, it can't be stopped. In a few years, this world will be a very different place than it is today. And today I tip my hat to the authors, the poets, really, at Anonymous, for speaking to these times so eloquently. Thank you.